Hey everyone, I'm recording this on July 18th and apparently it's Richard Branson's birthday. Maybe somebody got my train set for it. Hopefully not the government though, because that cost billions of pounds last time around. What else is in the news though? Well, I see it's Shamima Begum's trying to return to the UK. Something about losing an appeal. Appeal? I don't think she appealed to anyone, other than the sorts that probably want a statue of her put on that plinth in Bristol. The BBC can call her stateless for all they want, but she looked like she was in a right state the last time I saw her running around on TV trying to kill people. I also saw an article about coronavirus. Apparently the acting profession are fearful that some theatres may never open again after the lockdown. It makes you wonder, why do they have to make such a song and dance about everything? There's also a new disease on the loose, bubonic plague. A Chinese city has apparently issued a black death warning. Well, 2020 is the year of the rat, after all. I guess well, the big story this week was the Twitter Bitcoin hacking scam, though, which in my mind kind of reassured me that the world is still the same old place and that greedy folks and their money are easily parted. Early this week, some hackers managed to take control of Elon Musk, Bill Gates and Barack Obama's Twitter accounts, and they posted a tweet saying that as a charitable act, anybody who sent some money to a certain anonymous Bitcoin account would get twice the amount paid back. And that on the surface does look remarkably suspicious, designed to appeal to the sort of folks lazier than whoever it was that named it the fireplace. But the internet's populated with idiots, the sort of people that think that pharmacists work in farms or boast that they can still fit into the same earrings that they wore 10 years ago. People being stupid on the internet, that expectation is the price of entry. Nonetheless, this is probably the least dubious thing to happen to Bitcoin, and it's certainly the least dubious thing to involve Elon Musk in recent memory. Yeah, I've got a Bitcoin wallet, and it's a nice little hedge against economic collapse, and it can't be stolen through inflation. But I've largely got it through greedy speculation. Yeah, the price might jump tenfold. It's not a proper investment, and nobody's in it for anything other than the off chance of getting rich. And anyone that thinks Elon Musk is just going to give him $1,000 is either deluded, or perhaps they're just one of Elon Musk's lawyers charging by the hour for whatever financial or libelous mess he's gotten himself into this time, most likely on Twitter, ironically. As for the rest of them, at least if it's Joe Biden or Barack Obama's critter account claiming to be giving away free money, folks know not to trust it because they're politicians. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.